This next part is on page 42 of your workbook and is on um, the PR interval. So the PR interval um, represents the time it takes for the impulse to travel from the sinoatrial node to the end of the bundle of Hiss. So we see um, a wave of depolarization that comes off the SA node and it travels across both atria simultaneously and um, via internodal pathways that we talked about earlier and has to make its way through the AV node right to the level about uh, the base of the bundle of Hiss where the bundle of Hiss bifurcates into the right and left bundle branches so uh, from the onset of the P waves to the end of the bundle of Hiss and a prolonged PR interval is one which is uh, greater than 0 0.20 second or 0 0.2 second which is five small squares and this would indicate a delay um, in conduction either at the AV node itself uh, or in uh, the perinodal tissue. So a normal PR interval would be 0.12 to 0 0.20 second. That's um, uh, three small squares to five small squares. And uh, to measure the PR interval, we want to um, uh, look at the very beginning of uh, the, the P wave uh, here to the very beginning of the QRS complex. And sometimes it's easiest to uh, look for a P wave that begins on a dark line, like we see here, and, uh, and then count out the number of small squares uh, between the onset of the P wave and the onset of the QRS. In this case, it's four small squares, which is 0.16 second. Now, um, uh, the QRS morphology may be a little different in certain rhythms. So uh, in this first example here, we um, calculate the PR interval based on the onset of the P wave to the onset of the Q wave, because there is a Q wave here in this case. Uh, in the second rhythm, there isn't uh, a Q wave, so we measure from the beginning of the uh, QRS to the beginning of the R wave. In other words, the beginning of the QRS complex. In this case, we measure from the beginning of the P wave, and here we, we, just, we don't have a Q wave, but we have a Y QRS, so we're measuring at the, the beginning of the, the Y QRS. And here we have um, uh, no R wave, uh, but just simply a Q wave alone. So again, we measure the beginning of the P wave to the onset of the QRS complex.